I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to write quadratic equation from the given graph. In this graph, we are given x-intercepts of the parabola. The question here is, write quadratic equation from the given graph of parabola. Determine vertex from your equation. So what we are given here are two x-intercepts. So the first one is at let me write down x-intercepts here. The first one is at x equals to minus 1. The other one is at x equals to 2, right? And we are also given y-intercept. And let me call this as a point A. So point A is given to us as 0, 1. We'll use these points to find the given equation. You can also pause the video, try it out, and then check with my solution. So in the intercept form, we write equation as y equals to a times x minus one of the intercepts, which is minus one, so it becomes plus one, times x minus the other one, which is two, right? So that gives us the equation. Let me call this equation as equation one. Now here we need to find a. To find a, we'll use the y-intercept, zero, one. So 0 is x value, y value is 1, so we get 1 equals to a times 0 plus 1 times 0 minus 2. So 1 is equals to a times 1 times minus 2 is minus 2, or we get a equals to 1 over minus 2. So we get, this implies that a is equals to minus half. Since a is minus half, let me call this as equation 2. We'll substitute 2 in 1, right? So we'll substitute 2 in 1 and then write down the equation which is y equals to minus half x plus 1 times x minus 2, correct? So that is how we get our equation. Minus half, minus indicates that the parabola opens downwards, right? and half indicates that it is vertically compressed so it looks wider now we need to find vertex from this equation now where is the vertex so in the graph somewhere here is the vertex vertex is the midpoint right so vertex will divide the distance between the two x intercepts equally right so it is so we can find this axis let's find this axis and then using that x value we can find the y value of the vertex so axis is at the midpoint so let me write down axis first so axis x value is equals to average of these two right so average of these two x intercepts that means minus 1 plus 2 divided by 2 and that is 2 minus 1 so we get half so axis is at x equals to half right so we'll substitute x equals to half in our equation and find y value. So y value of this is minus half times half plus 1 times half minus 2, right? So that gives you the value of y, right? It seems to be slightly more than 1. So let's, we can use calculator at this stage to find the answer, right? Or you can just continue which is minus half and half plus 1 is two, 3 over 2, right, times when you do half minus 2, you get minus 4, that is 3 over 2, right, 4 minus 1, so minus 3 over 2. So approximately, let's write it, keep it in fractions, minus and minus makes it plus. 3 times 3 is 9 and 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, right, so that is the value 9 over 8 or 1 1 8 correct so from here we get the value of vertex is at x values half and y value is 1 1 over 8 or you could write 9 over 8 either way you could also write or let me write half 9 over 8 as you wish right so that is how you can find vertex from the given equation in factored form so it is the midpoint, okay? So find the axis, substitute the x value, find the y value. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.